the end is near. It is. Uh, man, I still can't believe it. Uh, but you know, it all goes by so fast. Uh, it'll be it'll be Sunday before I know it, and it'll all be over, and it'll be on to the next. So, I mean, it's it was gonna happen one way or another. So, I remember being emotional, but I mean, it is what it is. That's pretty cool that you know they get a, they have a chance to to come in here and potentially win the division, and we have a chance to keep our hopes alive. Uh, and you know I wouldn't want it any other way, honestly. I, I mean that's it's going to be a big game. They're a great team, and uh, we're just excited for the challenge. And I'm happy the last one in the valley can be so significant. Yeah, so Coach Sweeney keeps saying uh, the senior class can finish undefeated. You know, I, my my situation is a little weird because it's six years. So I've lost to to Pittsburgh at home. That's my only home loss my freshman year. But yeah, so over the past, I mean, we haven't lost a game in like five years at home, and uh, maybe pretty cool to to go out like you said, uh, you know, the longest win streak at home and and keep it going. Not only for you know our class, but you know, for next year and the year after that, just keep the momentum going. Obviously, the talent makes a big difference as to why you guys have won. You've had great teams in the past, but what is it about Death Valley that makes it incredibly tough for opponents to come in and play in this atmosphere? I mean, it's all about the fans, I think. You know, we obviously, it's a great stadium, but the fans make it what it is. Uh, the energy they bring, the passion. Uh, it's a special place. I mean, it's you can feel it when, you, when you're when you playing in the stadium and, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna miss it a lot when it's done. Oh, I don't want to think about it just yet. Uh, yeah, I was just talking. I was telling Ross like I don't know how emotional I'll get before because I got to be locked in. But definitely after the game, you know, whatever happens, you know, I'm gonna be looking around, you know, just trying to take it all in. And but uh, man, it's it's surreal when you're up there looking around. It's 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 a special moment and. Uh, you know, to all the young guys out there, you know, don't wish them away, because uh, just like that, it's done. Wake Forest, what you, you played their offense at the top of the What stands out about what they do that's different than the offense you guys have? I mean, they're they're weird, obviously. You know, they got the you know their their RPO little scheme and uh, Hartman and and the boys. They do a good job. At, I mean, they're very cohesive. That's one thing I you, you notice when you watch them is. They all know the plan. They know, you know, the scheme, and they execute at a high level. I mean, they average like 50 points a game. They're the only team in the country that's put up at least 35 a game uh, in every game. And so, you know, it's going to be a challenge. I mean, they're they're good. They got playmakers, and uh, I mean, they play hard. They play together. That gets you a little extra. I mean, not that you're going to need any extra fired up, but man, this defense have an opportunity against one of the best offenses. Yeah. Yeah, you know, and I think we've seen, you know, great offenses all year too. So, I mean, this is just another one on that list. And, uh, but on paper, you know, points wise, one of the best. So, uh, I mean, just playing, being in the last game in the Valley is enough motivation for me. It doesn't matter who we were playing. But, uh, no, it, it'll be, it'll, it'll be a good one. Y'all have been able to slow them down pretty well over the years. What do you feel like y'all have done well? Uh, just, just being physical, playing good team defense, you know. At the end of the day, it's, this is like guarding the triple option, you know, with with how they run things. And uh, but that pass is the pass, man. I mean, if we, you know, it, that doesn't mean anything. So I mean, they're a different team. We're a different team, and it's about can we execute right here, right now. So. Dave, is it kind of a weird line for you to walk to be nostalgic about your college career and still so many important games ahead of you over the next few weeks? Um. Yeah, kind of, but, uh, yeah, I mean, it's weird, man. The last one, like, are you kidding me? This is the last one ever? Like, just a couple weeks ago, I was like, okay, I got two left. And now it's like, we're already here. Like, I'm about to play the last one this week. It's the last, like, week of practice where I'm playing at home. It's, you know, it, I think about that a lot. But, like you said, I mean, a lot of, I mean, a lot of things can happen. Like, I mean, we're still not out of the ACC championship race. Uh, 
So I don't want to get too caught up in, you know, oh, it's just being the last game. Because, like you said, there is a lot of opportunity out there, a lot of big games, including this one, that, you know, could have a big effect on the last couple of weeks of our season. You always kind of be in that rare spot of being a guy who had six years of college football. Um, as you kind of start to, to, to shift towards the future, how do you put into perspective what Clemson has meant to you? Oh, man. Uh, words can't describe, you know, what this – you know, what Clemson's done for me, the things I've learned while I'm here, uh, the kind of the man it's it's turned me into, uh, the perspective, that's the biggest thing I think, the perspective you gain uh, or learn, you know, when you when you play for, you know, Coach Sweeney and Coach Venables and all these great, you know, coaches and staff and all these just people in general in the building. I mean, uh, you look at life a lot differently when you're when you're here, uh, when you, you know, when, when they help you grow and that's the biggest takeaway. You know, you, you become a great football player. You know, you'll become a good, you know, student, and, and you'll have all these opportunities to do great things. But the perspective you gain about how to look at life is like it changes you. You know, and so no matter what you do, whatever it is, you know, it's just it's special, dude. It's I'm so thankful for all these years I've had here, and I'm so thankful I decided to come back because I think you know, yeah, I grew a lot my first five, but I think I've grown the most. As a person, as a man, the last these last six months, to be honest with you, Why? I don't know. I, I guess I see the light at the end of the tunnel, and I know uh, you know life's coming. And I don't know. I just you know, at first I didn't want to come. Of course, I want to go try to go to the lead last year. Right? I want to try to move on, but uh, you know, God had other plans, and I got hurt. And but so the last you know year, I've really gotten the chance to to lead, be led. And, and grow even more as a person, more than I thought I, you know, w w that I would the last year. So. Anything for James from Zoom? Anybody else? You like that coach saying that uh, y'all bunch like a bunch of wounded dogs on the side of the road, you're still alive. <laughs> hey man, we're just, hey, we we're limping along. We keep finding a way though. We keep finding a way. So. I think we are a wounded dog a little bit, you know. I think the most injuries I've ever seen since I've been here, uh, most adversity we've seen. But well, we're still lying. We're still alive. We're still limping. We're still moving, you know. Anybody else? What has Sam Hartman done so well this year? Um, competed. I mean, that guy. Uh, he just. He trusts the process. He has faith in in the scheme and, and, and his buddies around him. You know his, his brothers around him, and uh, he just even look at last week's game. I think he was like twenty of forty six, like three picks, right? So on the on paper, it's like oh, he didn't didn't probably play that well. I watched the whole game. I thought he played his ass off. You know, he just keeps battling when his team needs him the most. He's there and he's making plays. So. Uh, you know, he just competes from start to finish and gives them a chance to win in, in the moments that they need him most. All right. Thanks, Dave. Appreciate y'all.